Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Resident Evil 4. All right. If you uh, missed the last video, we made it through the hedge maze with the zombie dogs. We got some loot. We set some dogs on fire. Don't worry. Like I said, they were zombie dogs. They totally had it coming. I love animals. I love dogs specifically. They're way freaking better than cats. Yeah, I said it. Take that, internet. Um, there's some stuff to loot around here and a document to read. Why, why do my videos always start out with these documents? Here we go. Female intruder. There seems to be a female intruder among us. We believe she's connected with Sarah. We also believe that she was the one who removed the egg injected into Sarah before it hatched. She may have had him retrieve the sample before the American agent's arrival. It's obvious that her objective is the sample. We must get to her before she is able to reestablish contact with Sarah. There's also reason to believe that she's working for somebody. We need her alive for interrogation. The female should be able to answer to should be able to answer all our questions. After we have captured her, Sarah will no longer be of any concern. As long as we retrieve the sample, you may dispose of him as you see fit. All right. Well, at least that one wasn't quite as long as the last one, and there was some nice eye candy in the background, but it didn't really tell you anything new. Make sure you grab the mirror with pearls and rubies right here, and then turn two feet and sell it to the merchant. I always thought that was kind of dumb. Welcome. That you just pick up that thing that's laying right there, and then turn around and sell it to him. Things on sale, straight. What are you selling? Like he couldn't just walk over and grab it himself. I guess you deserve the money for it if he was too lazy to go Is do it, all? and you did it for him. Is that all? <laughs> but the hell do I know? Yeah. So we still need one more gem for that mask. And I don't know, like, exactly where it is off the top of my head. Um, I might be able to find it. Like, it might be in a place that I just, that I know that there's a treasure, but I don't know what the treasure is, if that makes any sense. So, we'll see. Still no TMP upgrade. Oh my god. Also... I don't normally do this, but since this game is being such an unbelievable wanker about my rifle ammo, I'm going to upgrade the capacity just to refill the magazine so I actually have some freaking shots that I can shoot with it. And I have six... Is it six? I have seven green herbs. That's crazy. I'm just going to go ahead and combine three of them to make a full one because, honestly, there's no reason not to. That's just... An excessive amount of green herbs. What am I doing? There we go. And the rest of that stuff's good for now. Let's see. That should be everything in this area. Let's loop back around. There's a typewriter you can save if you want to. That's quite unnecessary for me. Hear that spooky music? Hmm. This place is actually pretty nice, all things considered. Oh, another green herb. I wouldn't mind hanging out here if it wasn't filled with, like, deranged psychopathic killers. I would totally, like, hang out and eat here. Maybe, like, stay here if it was, like, a hotel. You know, if I was, like, here for Otakon or something. I used to go to Otakon every year, and, and and by the way, mark that right there, because I'm pretty sure that's the first rifle ammo I've gotten in, like, five episodes. Oh my god, and there's three more. See, as soon as I refill it, they start throwing it at me. But that's okay. I'm going to try to use it sparingly, only when I really need to. Even though it's honestly one of the best guns that I have right now. So here's something interesting. I played this game originally when it came out on the GameCube. You fucker. I was not ready for that. God damn it. Uh, okay. There we go. Only took six shots, but I got him. And I get a brown egg for my trouble. What was I saying? So, I don't know if this is a case of them changing something between releases, or if my memory is that bad. But for some reason, I want to say that in the original GameCube version, there was actually a Novista door in this room. One of those bug-like creatures that we fought earlier. And I think it's because 
there's a hole in the ground right here that probably leads down to that area in the sewers where we fought them. So I honestly, I can't remember if I just made that up or if that's actually true. So as you can see, this area is kind of a shortcut back to the place where we entered this area. Through that door there is how you get to the hedge maze. I just wanted to come over here and loot. Grab all the items and just show you that real quick because we do have to come back again this way later. But for right now, the way forward rests right here. I actually do want my rifle for this part. This is a, a really small puzzle. There's text on these like chalkboards all along the walls. I'm not going to go through and read all of them because it would be terribly boring and it's not important. But basically if you read those, one of them will tell you that you have to shoot the wine bottle. And that is what opens the door. So that's how you would figure that out if you didn't already know. Alright, if you're following along, do yourself a favor. Equip a frag grenade before you walk in this room. If you don't have a frag grenade, God help you. What the fuck? As soon as you get control back, toss that frag grenade. And then run like a motherfucker. Kick the door down. And get out here. Oh, you bitch. That's okay. Woo! So what that did for me... You fucker! Oh my god! How did he fucking get out? Bullshit! Fuck me in the goat ass. Oh! Guys, I'm not even kidding. That makes me want to punch a baby. Where's, where's the nearest baby? I'm going to punch him right in his ugly little fucking face. Fuck! <sighs> okay. Let's try that again. So, <sighs> throwing that frag grenade knocks the padlock off the gate. So that you can kick the gate open right away. Because otherwise, you can't open that gate. And it also stuns the uh, Garador so that you have a second to run out. Normally, he doesn't come outside the cage, but apparently this time, he felt like doing that. Did he fucking get out again? Where is he? He did come out. That, that so rarely happens. And now it's happened twice, apparently. You really gotta watch your ass. Wouldn't even have been a problem if that dude hadn't shot me twice, but he did. And somehow this gate got open too. I'm not sure how that happened. Um. God damn it! He got out again. I, I think I actually knocked him over with a kick. That is new. I've never done that before in my entire life. Okay. Now there's going to be a couple more guys that drop in from the roof up there. You can't really see it from here, but there will be more guys. Is he walking out into that dining room? I've never fucking seen him do that before. That's crazy. Oh my god. Oh yeah. There's one of those guys I was talking about. I don't know, man. There's this save file. There's a lot of weird stuff going on, and I can't get through the door to kick him. Damn it. Oh shit, he knows where I am. You fucker. I didn't think he could reach that far. Where's Dick Nuts? There he is. I guess he doesn't hear it when you knife guys, though. So that's helpful. Alright, the best weapon to take him out with is the, uh... <clears throat> the rifle. It's because you don't have to get too close, and it's pretty strong. You do actually have to hit him, though, for it to work. Obviously. Someone just dropped in. Yep. 
Where are you going, bud? That dude was acting like he couldn't figure out which direction he wanted to move in. Alright. This is normally not that hard, but... I don't know, maybe it's just harder to record and commentate at the same time. Something I never did before. You never really think about it until you're doing it. But I feel like I'm really getting my ass kicked in this game. More than I normally do. Like, it's not an easy game by any means. That's one of the things that I like about it. Is the fact that uh, it does present a challenge. A lot of games these days, all you really need is a pulse to get through them. And you know, I I'm old school. I like it when a game requires a little bit of thought, a little bit of effort, you know? It's not just one long rail shooting cutscene. Which is kind of what some of the newer Resident Evils have turned into. Um, this game kind of kicked the series off in that direction. The whole, like, Michael Bay kind of direction. But Resident Evil 5 took that to, like, a whole new level. Okay, I should be able to get a shot on him right here. What are you doing? There we go. Hello! Get him to get stuck in that corner. Oh, I was hoping he gets stuck in the corner. I'm just gonna try to keep like leading him around like that. Shit. Okay, he didn't charge that time. Damn it. Okay. Let's use the cage to my advantage. Oh, I guess he smelled me or something? I don't know. Good news is I think they're done dropping in from the ceiling. Oh my god, fuck off, dude. All I want to do is shoot you in the back. It's probably only one more shot that he needs, too. Alright, I don't want to waste any more rifle rounds on this. He's got to be close to death. I'm just going to shotgun him. Yeah, yeah. Seriously? I'm not running. I know I'm close to him, but... Thank you. Damn, that was a real pain in the ass. Alright, all that so you can grab this hourglass with gold decor. And there's a flash grenade in here to loot. And you can also run in here and grab magnum ammo. You probably don't want to miss that because the magnum is one of the best guns in the game. It's extremely powerful and you need it. Alright. So what I was trying to say earlier was that I'm not sure if it's a function of me trying to record and commentate at the same time, which I'm not used to doing. Or if this particular game is being way more unforgiving than I'm used to. I feel like I'm getting screwed over a lot. But I also feel like I'm just not playing as well as I should. See, now I'm popping headshots with Reckless Abandon. And I'm wasting all my damn... Oh, I don't want to waste rifle ammo on this guy. These guys are uh, really annoying. They're the third type of Plagas. And I'm not sure if they're an instant kill or not if they get near you. But the reason that they're annoying is because they take so long to kill. Because you have to shoot them until they detach from the dude. 
And then you have to shoot them again once they're free. And it just freaking takes forever. Dude. They're not, like, all that strong or anything. They're just annoying. See, now that he's out, I can just use the pistol on him. Can he jump up here? Apparently not. See, he died to two pistol shots once he was detached. It just took that long. Alright, those guys can't come through right now. We want to hit this switch here because that'll extend the bridge. And don't forget to loot over here on this side. I am going through ammo a little more quickly than usual. So, hopefully, uh... Oh shit, I forgot. They kind of come down here and sandwich you. Best thing to do is usually to jump off and then climb back up on this side. And try not to get grabbed like that. Oh god, they're fucking everywhere. Alright, maybe this wasn't the best idea. I'm gonna go ahead and heal up and try to shotgun them before I get punched in the face. Okay. That actually went alright. I'm gonna get out of this corner, because that's not a great place to be. Oh, fuck me. Ooh, he just spit acid on me. What a dick. Okay. Um... Are they behind me again? No? Okay. I can hear the guys on the other side talking constantly. And, uh... It's kind of tripping me up. Let's just use this. Extend my life, bring me back to green. And since I have two Plagas, I'm gonna waste this frag or this uh, flash grenade. And then sometimes that happens when you use a <coughs> excuse me when you use a flash grenade on those guys. It doesn't even kill them outright. It just detaches them, which is like super cheap. Okay. Constantly paranoid they're going to come behind me over here, but I, I don't think they are for now. Now if you're following along, trust me on this, before you go over to that side, come over here. And come see the merchant. Because there's something that you want before you go over and clear out that other area. things on what are you selling? Uh, let's see, Spinels. Is that all? <laughs> Thank you. And Hourglass. <laughs> Thank you. And that's good for now. What are you buying? You want the extra large attache case. It's pretty expensive, <laughs> but you. it's baller status because it's huge, and it's the last one in the game, so you absolutely want it. What are you buying? And there shouldn't be anything new to tune up. Okay. So now that that's done, come back here. And I think you can actually... Wow! From all the way back there? That's just fucking foul. Honestly. You need to be shot with a rifle for that. Fucking dickhead. These guys, as far as I know, can't even get up here or do anything to you. So, you know what? I hate these incendiary grenades. I'm just going to burn them. And then I'm going to try to knife them before they get back up. Perfect. Now, apparently there's still one guy somewhere. Not sure where. He's probably up here, actually. Yep. Oh. 
I was kind of assuming he'd have a shield. Okay, I guess I wasn't close enough. Fuck out. Thank you. I was getting kind of tired of hearing that music. Okay. And then you can knock off that lock and go through that door if you want, but there's absolutely no reason to do that. Now you might have saw earlier, when I was herpaderping with those guys, free rocket launcher. That right there is why you want the extra large case before you come over here. Because otherwise you're probably not going to have room for it. Now there's a lot of debate amongst RE4 enthusiasts about where the best place to use that rocket launcher is. Um, traditionally, I used to use it on a certain boss. I guess I shouldn't talk about specifics, just on the odd chance that you've never played this before. Uh, yeah, but I, I used to use it on a boss called uh, Verdugo. And lately I've I've taken to not using it on him and waiting until you fight kind of a bigger boss towards the end of a chapter. I don't know, this sounds dumb, talking without specifics. Let's just move forward. Leon! I got it. I have the sample. You serve me no purpose. Sadler! My boy Salazar will make sure you follow the same fate. Stay with me, Lois. I am a researcher hired by Sadler. He found out what I was up to. <laughs> Don't talk. Here. It should suppress growth of the parasite. The sample. Sadler took it. You have to get it back. Lewis! Lewis! So, Lewis went and got himself tentacle raped, which makes me sad, because I liked him. He was a good guy. What's up with that thumbnail for the next chapter? Why is it Ashley? Oh my god, do you get to play as Ashley? That's crazy go nuts. So my hit ratio remains shitty. I died again. Brings my total to 7. Not doing great. Thanks, as always, for watching. I'm going to end the video here. I'm Dude Longhouse. Check me out at grownersgamers.com, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.